Laser sights provide many tactical advantages and are most often used in conjunction with conventional optical or iron sights, and both sight systems should be calibrated together to maximize their benefits. The method of aligning laser sights with the optical or iron sight at some distance only gets you in the ballpark. A better approach is aligning all sights to the actual bullet path at some optimal distance. The key is being able to print your own custom bore sight targets that take into account all the specifics of the gun, load, sights, zeroed range, and the distance you want to bore sight at. While we offer the Sight Light Ballistic Targeting Program free on the Dexadyne website, that program doesn't support sights mounted below the barrel, which is the case with most laser sights. So I'm using Ballistic Explorer version 670 to demonstrate aligning multiple sights to the bullet path you want. Be sure to use proper precautions when handling or working with any weapon, and make sure the barrel is clear of obstructions after bore sighting. In Ballistic Explorer, we can work with up to three traces at a time. A trace is a complete shooting situation. In trace 1, I have an AR-15 set up with an optical scope. In trace 2, I have the same AR-15 set up with a foregrip laser sight. You can see that we're using a very typical load for AR-15 55 grain bullet. I have a standard metro atmosphere setup for both, trace 1, trace 2. The sight height for the optical sight is 2.6 inches. Sights mounted above the barrel are positive values. For the foregrip laser sight, I have a distance of 1.25 inches vertically from the laser beam to the center bore of the barrel. Sights mounted below the barrel have a negative value. I have the laser sight set up to have a zero sight adjustment angle. So the laser beam from the foregrip laser is parallel to the bore of the barrel. In the trace one, I have a zero setup of 150 yards, a typical value. So now we're going to come over to the laser bore sight target display and take a look at how we can set up the custom target. We're in trace one, which is the optical sight. The blue line is the line of sight looking through the scope. The red line is the bore sight laser, which represents the center bore of the barrel, also known as the line of departure. The olive here is the bullet path. The black line here is the custom target that we're going to produce. Up here, you can see the range to the custom target and the laser position. The laser position is the distance between the line of sight and the bore sight laser. Now we can move this target to different distances with the slider control down here. And you'll see up here that the range changes and also the laser position changes with the range because these two lines are converging. And so if we want to set this to some distance, let's say 10 yards, we can get close here. And then if I click either side of the arrow, the range will change one one hundredth of a yard every click. So you can see that up at the top there in the target range, it will move every time I click it one one hundredth of a yard. So we can get per precise positions here. So in this case, this position is 2.15 inches below the, the line of sight. Now let's say we wanted to print out this target. I'll show you that. We get a preview. I'll bring that over. And this is what we would print out. Now, zoom out. We're printing out a page. Standard size 8 by 11. You can also do legal size. And so when you're bore sighting, you would place your crosshairs at this location and the bore sight laser at this location. And even with inexpensive printers, the distance between your where this crosshair is and the laser spot is produced is extremely accurate. Um, we've measured them with dial calipers and they're within a hundredth of an inch. And so now let's take a look at the trace two where we have the foregrip laser. As I mentioned before I've got it set up so I have zero sight adjustment and so the uh, the bore sight laser and the foregrip laser are parallel to each other and never cross. But because the bullet starts to drop as it comes out of the barrel, at about 85 yards in this case, it drops into the spot projected by the foregrip laser. 
Now you see that that's interesting because with 150 yard zero range, we also have a near zero of about 87 yards. So these two are zeroing at nearly the same location. Now let's assume this is the setup we want. And we're going to go to trace two. And I'm going to notice here that because the boresight laser and the foregrip laser are parallel, the distance that the custom target is doesn't really matter because the laser position is always going to remain the same at 1.25 inches, which is the sight height of the foregrip laser. But let's go ahead and print that out, take a quick look at it. And you'll notice that it looks different than the one for the optical sight because instead of looking through a scope at a crosshair we're going to place the foregrip laser beam right here at the crosshair and your laser bore sighter spot would go here and once it's all printed out now you've got a set of two custom targets to set up where we have the bullet path crossing when you look through the scope and when you look at the laser spot at about 85, 87 yards. Now let's take a look at trace one again. And you'll notice here one of the problems with this is we're not making good potential of the range of, the, of this particular bullet that we're using. And that's because we're starting out at 2.6 inches below the line of sight but we're only allowing it to rise like three tenths of an inch above the line of sight. We would get farther range if we allowed it to rise 2.6 inches above the line of sight. Assuming we're okay being off 2.6 at the muzzle, there shouldn't be any problem being 2.6 off at any point going down range. So I'll show how to, how to set that up over here in the traces again and scroll over. The first thing I have to do is set the fine parameter to maximum point blank range. What we're telling the computer is to find the maximum point blank range given some vital zone. So this is a diameter, so I want to set it to twice my sight height. So I'm going to set it to 5.2 inches. Now I'm going to come back over to the laser bore sight target display. And when I click on this, it'll update. And so I'm going to get more range here. And you see now I'm zeroing out here at about 257 yards. And the bullet has been allowed to rise 2.6 inches above the line of sight. The other thing we notice that the near zero has become closer. It's now about at 47 yards. So if I want to have my laser sight zero at that 47 yards. I can do that. Just come back over to my traces again. Now I'm going to tell it to go ahead and find the sight adjustment given a zero range. So I'm going to do zero at 47 yards. Scroll back over here and when I click it it'll update. So now you see the bullet is going to zero compared to the foregrip laser at about 47 yards and that's where our near zero is but we made much much better use of the potential of that load because now we're within 2.6 inches all the way from the muzzle out to almost 300 yards and this actually works out better too because we can actually see our spot laser spot from the foregrip laser at these closer range 47 yards it's still within an inch and a half out to 80 yards. And so if we wanted to go ahead and, and set this up with our targets, and if we pick 10 yards, we can just go print out our custom targets for the same values. So those are two examples of how you could set up your sights. Now, if you've already zeroed your scope at a range, you wouldn't want to bore sight it again. Just come over to the trace one in this example and go ahead and set up the conditions that you had at the range. Let's say it was 85 degrees and you have an altitude of 2,500 feet and we'll put in here just 30 inches mercury, nice day, high pressure zone. 
this is okay, this is okay, and let's say you zeroed it for 200 yards. And so now we're going to come back over, click it, update, and so let's see what our near zero is. So it's looking like it's about 66 yards. So now we want to set up the uh, foregrip laser so that it also zeroes at the same range. Come back over to Trace 2. And I want to copy in the same atmospheric conditions and altitude. Easiest thing to do is a right click, copy from that trace. Our sight height for the foregrip laser stays the same. We're not really caring about crosswind at this point. And now we want to zero at about 67 yards. And so I'll come back over here and clicked it. And so we can see now that we have zeroed at about 67 yards here. Better look at that. And so now I could go ahead, if I had 10 yards of room, I could go ahead and print out the custom target to go ahead and set this up in my shop. Let's say I only had uh, 25 feet. Well, I can move the, that target in to 8.33. And we would get our spot up here, and I can print that out. And I can go, go ahead and set that up on a bench to match with what I've done at a, at a shooting range. And then I know that my my foregrip laser is going to zero at 65, 66 yards, the same as my near zero. That's it for this video. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video interesting or informative. Thanks for watching.